Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Grow along with Netta Evan here and our Eric Conard, as you see right there on your screen at the Rady Children's Hospital Ice Rink at Liberty Station. It's an exciting morning. Eric, what do you have for us for this hour? Yeah. It is super magical out here. I mean, how festive is it? And no better way to warm up the morning than uh, starting out here at Rady Children's Ice Rink, which opens today, by the way. It lasts through January 8th. We've got lots of special guests coming up here. We're going to tell you why this place is so magical and how you can help out a lot of kids who need it right now. It's all coming up. Wonderful, Eric. Thank right, you so thank much. You so Looking much. forward to it. And now let's turn to our top story here. We're staying on top of the latest on a brush fire that's burning right now near Rancho San Diego. It started at an abandoned home. Do you see the flames there in the overnight hours? There's a helicopter drop they made. It did spread to surrounding brush. A fire is burning along Steel Canyon and Willow Glen Roads, not far from the Steel Canyon Golf Club. It's in a very rugged area that's hard to access with fire engines. But CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live at Cal Fire headquarters with the very latest. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Chris and Netta. This Cal Fire station is just about a mile away from where that fire started. Uh, and of course, we're keeping an eye on for any updates. But the last information we received was that the fire was burning away from homes and there are no active evacuations in effect right now. As you mentioned, the terrain around the fire, it is very, very rugged. So it's been hard for the fire uh, trucks to access it. But what we do know is that dozers and hand crews are fighting the fire. Uh, there we're calling it the Willow 9 fire and it broke out around 8 o'clock last night at an abandoned home and then spread to nearby brush. Right now, Cal Fire says it's about 10 acres and 5% contained. Crews have been making water drops and watching the fire all night long. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and have the latest updates online as well on the CBS 8 app. I will tell you right now, it's not too windy. It's chilly out here around 38 degrees, so those conditions are better for fighting fires compared to yesterday's strong Santa Ana winds. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you from Branch of San Diego. Yeah, this is their chance to get that containment right now in the morning hours. Dana Marie, thank you. This morning, we're going to get an update on efforts to get rid of that strong smell in Barrio Logan. It's been making people sick. The county's air pollution control district ordered a biofuel company, New Leaf, to install an odor reduction system by December 9th. Today, they'll hold a meeting on the progress. The company turns used cooking oil from many restaurants into biodiesel fuel, but residents say the smell has been a problem for years there, causing them to get headaches, even vomiting. And starting today, the homeless shelter at Golden Hall in downtown San Diego will close. It'll be closed about two weeks while crews fix leaks and make other repairs. People staying there will now be housed at a motel or at the Balboa Park Activity Center. As the regional homeless crisis continues to get worse, some advocates are questioning whether every city in our county is doing their fair share. Some are calling out Chula Vista, for example, for cracking down on encampments but not offering a shelter. If I lived in San Diego, as a taxpayer, as a citizen of San Diego, I'd be kind of upset at these other municipalities that aren't pitching in at their capability to help this problem. You cannot fix this by just pushing them off to one area. In response to that, the city of Chula Vista points to its homeless outreach team, which helps unsheltered people on a weekly basis find housing and resources, as well as a new bridge shelter set to open in January. This morning, Republicans are taking a victory lap after narrowly clinching control of the House. You can see right there, this will split control of Congress with the Democrat-controlled Senate. Now, current House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is his party's nominee for House Speaker. But with the slim majority, it's unclear if he will gain the 218 votes needed. Current House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is expected to address her future plans later on today. And one local race has just been called in favor of the Democrats, that being Mike Levin, Congressman Mike Levin. He was reelected, winning California's 49th congressional district. He beat Republican challenger Brian Marriott. Levin's win gives the Democrats 212 House seats. And it's time now to make the holiday season brighter for many patients at Rady Children's Hospital. So many of their families who count on that hospital, CBS 8, proud to help light the way. Eric Connor joining us live at the Rady Children's Hospital Ice Rink at Liberty Station. We love that you can go have fun out there all for a great cause, Eric. I will say you showed us some hockey skills, but those figure skaters, they're a little bendier. <laughs> 
Yes, uh, way more flexible than I am, that is for sure. I mean, how festive is this out here, right? No better way to warm up uh, than coming out here to the ice rink. So this is Rady Children's Ice Rink. Today it uh, opens up. It lasts through January 8th, so lots of opportunities to come out here. Last year, 47,000 people came up here uh, and to lace up their skates, and they were doing hockey, they were doing figure skating, they were doing whatever they wanted to. Uh, nominal fee to get out here, and uh, it really does help the kids that Rady Children's. Uh, I'll tell you, when on my way out here, I passed by Rady Children's and I couldn't uh, couldn't help to think about all the kids that were stuck in the hospital at uh, this time of year that don't get to have a happy Thanksgiving, that don't get to have uh, that warm Christmas celebration. And the money that's raised here, by the way, over $2 million over the past 25 years, uh, helps those kids that are going through a tough time right now to have them have a celebration to let them experience the holidays. We have Tina from Liberty Station joining us now. Uh, Tina, so glad you're with us here. The ice rink is up here at Liberty Station. It looks so festive. You guys have done a great job, a wonderful job again. 26th year, congrats. Thank you. Yes, we're so excited to partner with Brady again this year at the Arts District and um, celebrate the holidays, salute the season. Um, we have the ice rink. We have the tree lighting coming up next Friday. We have um, the Nutcracker tea, menorah lighting. There's so many things happening at the Arts District this, this holiday season. Okay, let's talk about tickets for people that want to come out here because people are doing their holiday planning right now and they've got to start the holidays off by coming down here, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. So you can get your tickets online, you can get them in person, um, and then you can enjoy the ice rink, you can enjoy our restaurants, our small retailers, our artists. Tina, There's you can so make a happening. whole day out of it is what you're saying. So yeah, 20 bucks for uh, adults, 15 for kids, military members, and Rady uh, staff members. So uh, all that money uh, it goes to a really good cause, right? It does, yes. It goes to support um, the Peckham Center for uh, Blood Disorders. Right. And um, we're just so excited to partner with them again and, and to support this worthy cause during the holidays. Well, you guys are doing such great work here. I got to say how festive it looks with the lights. We've got the palm trees all lit up. I mean, look at this. It's like a winter wonderland out here. It's incredible. We've got some ice skaters from San Diego Ice Rain out here. Uh, I'm the only hockey player out here, but I've been trying to learn some of the, the tips from these ice skaters here. I think they're pretty talented. As we send it back into the studio, uh, we want to let you know that we are a proud partner of the Light the Way campaign, and this is the first event of many for the Light the Way uh, campaign to raise money for kids at Rady Children's who, you know, could really use uh, that warm feeling of the holidays brought right to their hospital room here as we send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, we're working on some hockey here too. Yeah. See, I've got the little mini net down here. So we've been trying to work on our hockey shot. We've had some of our guests, you know, do all right. So this, we, we threw the net yeah. way back there and I'll see if we can try to get one to go in. Oh, that's okay, so no far. There. There's, oh, there oh, there we go. Right. There, there we go. go. Uh, there's two. Just Very in. nice. Just, just, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're all oh, they hit. Knock back hit. in the shape there. It's going to go up in the air there. These figure oh, skaters need to watch out for your high. pucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, well. I so want to see you do here. what that girl just did. Off. She just spun so fast <laughs> low to the ground. <laughs> we know you can make I'm a goal. <laughs> I, st I, I stick to this side of the I rink see. here because that scares me over there what those guys are doing with the, you know, the, the pirouettes and the set. circles and all stuff over there, flips yeah. and twirls and everything. But yeah, they're very talented. That's the kids from San Diego Ice Arena, by the Amazing. way. So we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh -huh. We're having some fun out here. And it's uh, pretty easy to stay warm when you got a cool rink like this. Right. And it looks so beautiful now that we're getting more daylight. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you. And your photographer, Julio, following your puck along the way. That looks so much fun. I, I want to see Julio on those skates. I do yeah. too. I know. Can <laughs> we get him on the the ice? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Slow and steady. We'll get him out there. Yeah. Uh, we uh, there, there was that one part where I know those pucks were not going toward that girl, right. but it looked like it by looked the angle, like she's could. just it's swirling in circles and Eric is just pelting <laughs> these pucks Wouldn't toward dare. her. It's like, oh, okay. She's safe. She's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to be out there very shortly, mm -hmm. just a couple hours. So yeah. uh, Counting them down. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Are you? I got, I'm horrible on ice. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Tuba You're was really telling great. us, she was like, we may have to have you like fake some falls and I was like That's oh I don't have fine. to fake any falls I like I'm, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna be very real falls uh, let's take a look at uh, what's going on outside as we start off the morning it's 610 right now and we're seeing clouds how about that this is a contrast to what we saw yesterday with that strong push of offshore flow those clouds were kept way far off of the coast now we're seeing those winds weaken we just see gusts mainly over your mountaintops but along your coast and inland we're not seeing much trouble and in turn hey you've got those clouds building closer to your 
your coastline. So forecast for the day is going to take us to the 70s and it looks like we'll make it to comfortably the mid 70s and in a couple of your inland valleys. Mountains are going to stay pretty breezy out there. Temperatures are warming to the upper 50s, low 70s for the deserts out there and clouds are few and far between. They'll be passing throughout the day, but uh, hey, you know, that's uh, the name of the game when we see conditions try to start moderating themselves again, right? Strong Santa Ana winds came through. They boosted our temperatures up above average, dropped our humidity down quite a bit, and now we're starting to see that return to onshore flow. So we'll see humidity values rise a bit. We'll see those passing clouds and we'll see temperatures just a hair cooler than yesterday by the afternoon. Early morning hours were quite chilly out there. I mean, we're mostly in the 40s and 50s, 47 in Escondido, 41 in Poway, 51 in Encinitas and 43 chilly out there in downtown San Diego. Three degrees cooler than where we were 24 hours ago. Eight degrees cooler in Poway compared to 24 hours ago. And Ramona, you take the cake. 17 degrees cooler right now than where you were this time yesterday. Let's take a look at how traffic is shaping up as we kick off the day, only taking you to one crash as we start off the morning. And this one is just about the Mount Helix area, La Mesa specifically. Uh, right lane is blocked with a crash on the 8 westbound. This is at the 125. So at that 125 and 8 interchange, if you're trying to get from the 8 westbound to the 125, likely northbound is where you're going to run into that difficulty. Uh, so expect some delays in the area, but luckily this is just the right lane blocked, so you should still be able to pass through. Uh, at your normal speed right now. We're not seeing any major delays associated with it. Back to you.